Hello my scrappy friends, it is Melinda Sweetman here with you and welcome back to my channel today. It's been a little while since my last share but I'm excited to be back here. Uh, I've got another share for you uh, for Cut To You uh, featuring the Never Enough Books Cut File. And that is my layout there. Um, I have lots to talk about in this video so I'm going to jump straight into it. As you can see I've already started to back my cut file there. I'm using the Coco Villain Studio Daydream collection and I've used the A5 paper stack, um, the wood grain pattern paper to back my title. Now I'm showing you here, uh, these are my E40 Copic markers. I went through my stash to try and decide how I was going to back the pages of these books and I couldn't find anything I particularly loved. Um, and after recently doing a class uh, at Kit and Clowder, I will make sure I link everything in the description box below. Um, I was like, you know what, I might colour my own book pages here. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I started here by tracing the um, outside part of where the page is going to be. And you can see I'm bringing my cut file back in a couple of times just to check that I'm getting the darkest bits where I want them. And... I am going to come back in and trace around the inside of those cut lines in just a minute, knowing that with this E49, which is the darkest color I'm using, that it's going to cover up any of the pencil lines that I am going to be left with. So here I go, just retracing around the inside of that um, so that I know exactly where to color so that I am getting my darkest bits and I'm not losing my highlights or anything. All I'm doing is some flicking, adding in some car shadows, and I'm starting with my darkest, which is E49, then E47, doing flicking from both sides again. Um, and then I've got 44, E43, E42, and E41. And I'm just gonna use a different, um, different combinations of all of those colors on all four of these books. I'm going to show you pretty much the whole process of this first one so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. But you can see I'm just flicking that color, extending each lighter color a little bit further into the highlight area. Um, and I really love how this turned out in the end. Um, it, I think it looks really good. It looks like book pages. And it's, yeah, I, I'm really, really happy with it. And it was pretty easy to do too. So there is my finished book pages there. I'm just going to go in. I am working on Express It Blending Card. Um, it's the only paper that I really like to colour on. It's the, I've tried others, um, but yes, Express It, Express it Blending Card is the best that i found, uh, and I can buy it uh, in bulk here in Australia as well, which is great. So I'm going to go through and pack the rest of that, and here we go. You can see all four of my books are done, and I've just used uh, lots of different patterns from the mostly A5 paper stack. I have got two photos here. They're a little bit smaller than three by three, but by the time they are backed, they end up being a little bit bigger than three by three. Um, and this idea came, I don't even know where this idea came from, but I thought it would be um, something that I haven't documented about myself. I don't think ever. Um, I love reading and um, I, I read every single day. I do have a Kindle, which is what that second photo is um, it's the, with the eyeball. That is my Kindle cover. Um, and I'm currently reading Stephen King's It. Uh, but I, I do love reading. It is how I wind down at the end of every day. Um, and the other stack of books is, um, is a stack of books that were very purposefully chosen. Uh, from the bottom up, from memory, I've got... Um, oh no, I've got the layout sitting next to me. So from the bottom up, I've got um, something about the wind change, when the wind changed. So if you know that book, you know exactly what, what it's about, when the wind changed. So these are books obviously from my childhood. I still have copies of them. Uh, I have very distinct memories of these particular books. Um, and I'm going to do a companion page, which right at the beginning, if you saw, there was another cut file of two books that it was quite a big cut file that is going to be my next chef cut to you so make sure you come back for that i'm actually making like a little book thing um and i'm going to tell the story behind each of the books that i've chosen for this um for this photo 
Then moving up, the one that's sticking out on the right hand side is called The Hidden Valley. Then we've got The Witch Baby by Wendy Smith. And then I Hate My Teddy Bear by David McKee. I'm sure many of you out here are going to know this one. Flowers in the Attic, Virginia Andrews. Uh, Stephen King's Christine. Um, Matthew Riley, Seven Ancient Wonders. And then on top of that stack, I have got my Kindle. Um, so yes, I, I have very distinct memories of reading um, those children's books as a child. Uh, and I thought that it was uh, something interesting that I could document for my albums, whether my kids ever look at it or read it is a whole other story. Uh, but I've got two kids that are enjoying reading as well. So I thought it would be um, an interesting story to get down. So while I have been giving you a bit of the background of this, um, of this layout, I have been kind of building my layout a little bit. I've backed my two photos with the same pattern paper that I've got on the very background border. I've used the A5 paper stack for that one. I realized at this point that I needed somewhere to do my journaling and I found this tag. Uh, you saw that I moved bits and pieces around a ton. See where that pink butterfly is in the middle of the page? Um, there was an awkward gap there that I really didn't like. So I knew straight away I was gonna cover that up and I ended up settling on these three butterflies. And um, I really like the way they sit there. Or are they moths? I don't know, whatever they are. They're super cute, I love them. Uh, so then, I, like I said, I put that tag in there and I still wasn't 100% sold on it. I thought, I'll oh, have a quick look through the A5 paper stack, see what I can find in the cut apart sheets. And I found this, <clears throat> this little piece that is, um, it's got the wood grain and I thought, yes, this is perfect. This way I can get that visual triangle happening of my wood grain as well, <clears throat> which I knew I wanted to do. So I'm just working on that. So obviously the first, uh, my head is in this layout a lot. I really do apologize. I also kind of feel like I forgot how to scrapbook. I know it's been a hot minute. Um, life has been busy, super busy. Um, yeah, if you're interested, maybe I can do a face to face. But anyway, uh, so <clears throat> I once I chopped off the bottom of that journaling box cut apart, I realized I was gonna have some of that wood grain left over. So I've pulled that up to the top and there's my visual triangle of the wood grain. Then I've got this, these two banners. One says, uh, it actually says our happy place, but I'm like, this is not our happy place. This is my happy place. But you can see I've tucked that in a way that the word our is covered up by the little moth. I'm like, yes, that works. And you can see I'm starting that visual triangle of the pink now. So I've got the butterfly and then the happy place <clears throat> little banner. Uh, now I'm trying to, at this point I was like, yes, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build my three clusters and I'm gonna work on the visual triangle um, and make sure I've got those colors represented in those three places. So you can see I'm building a cluster to the top right of my two photos to the bottom left of my photos where the title begins and then one to the bottom right of the title. Um, and that just takes your eye around the whole page um, through the photos, next to the journaling and then down to the bottom of the title. <clears throat> and honestly, like I said, I feel like I forgot how to scrapbook before I, um, while I was doing this. So, um, there was a lot of a lot of really hard decisions to make. Tell me, do you ever find that when it's been a hot minute since you've managed to get into your craft room? So I'm pretty happy with the way this cluster up here is looking, except something's not quite right. Uh, you can see I'm playing around with bits and pieces. I've bought that, so I ended up changing that navy blue label to a different blue, and then I'm like, okay, maybe this little part of the label that I cut off is going to work. I'll try that. Um, and then I'm trying all these little banner arrow thingies. I don't know what they're called. And then I found this one. It's a yellow one with a little red heart. I'm like, yes, that is perfect. That's what I'm going to go with. And you can see here, I've started my visual triangle of the yellow now as well. So I've got the book on the left. I've got the banner up the top with the little heart. Um, so 
that's kind of where I'm going. I know I'm happy with where I've got everything at the moment. And while I kind of let that settle, I, um, I stuck everything down. And I'm showing you here my visual triangle. So I've got the three of that more coral color, the three of the yellow, the three of the dark blue, and then the three of the wood grain. And so you can see how all of those pieces, um, you know, you've got those visual triangles that are all slightly different, like kind of offset triangles. Um, and they encompass all of what's happening in the page, all of the stuff I really want your eye to be drawn to. My last, well, second last thing that I'm gonna do here is in this collection there was some sequins so i uh, i wasn't sure exactly how many i was going to add but i ended up with five different sequins in three different clusters and again i'm just following that visual triangle again and you're gonna i'm gonna i've left me placing this lot here uh, and then i'll jump forward and you will see everything stuck down um, but yes i I say that I felt like I forgot how to scrapbook, but I really did have fun creating this. And like I said, I've already got another, um, I've already started my second page that's going to go on the left hand side of this one in my album. And I'm really loving the way it's coming together and it's so nice being at my craft desk <laughs> crafting like this. Um, hopefully things will settle down again very soon and I can get back to doing some more of the things I love. Uh, my last step before I add my journaling is some gold splatters. I'm using Minor Minor 40 Diner by Shimmers Paint and a paintbrush. And again, I'm just adding those splatters to where my three clusters are. And I'm going to call it done. Um, like I said, this was a super fun page to create. Uh, I don't know about you, but I think it's important that we include our own stories. And not just a, oh look, here's my happy face and this is what I'm doing kind of stories. Um, this is obviously a bigger story than that. Um, but yeah, I really, really love the way this page came together. This collection works beautifully with the photos I've chosen because those photos were taken in my bedroom and the colours just work beautifully. If you have any questions, please make sure you drop them below. I will make sure I link everything in the description box below. As always, thank you so much for choosing to spend your scrappy time with me and I shall see you in my next video. Have a fantastic scrappy day, my friends.